Hey guys, Dan from DJ Tech Tools here. Today I'm going to show you guys how to use the spiral effect that you'll find on a lot of Pioneer gear. So specifically on the Pioneer DJM 900 mixer and on the Pioneer XDJ RX, which has just come out recently, you'll find in the effects sections there's a whole effect called spiral. A spiral is cool. It's pretty destructive and it can be really overwhelming. So you kind of have to know what you're doing before you go into it. So let's start off by looking at spiral in use as just a pure transition effect. The cool thing about this is that Spiral gives you a similar tail to what you would expect out of an echo or a reverb, but it does it in a bit more of an interesting way, because it allows you to change the pitch of the echo and reverb, which is also changing the length of that echo. This is useful because you actually have uh, full control over the effect that Spiral creates, as well as when uh, the effect comes out of the mix. Uh, because whenever you hit this on off button at the bottom of the beat effect section That's when the tail will start to come down in the mix So as soon as you hit on off think of that as like a release So let's start with a playing track on track one. I've got a track by JM here And then make sure that your BPM is correct when I have this set to auto for some reason the DJM 900 thinks that this is a track at 163 BPM it's definitely not correct. So if you go into tap and then tap it, get 128, that's exactly right, cool. Uh, and as a first demonstration, let's turn the level depth all the way to zero. This is useful so you don't overwhelm uh, the playing track with the effect off the bat. Turn it up a little bit. You can hear the spiral start to come in now. But it's in time with the track. It's on in the middle, so it's 1-1. One, one. And you can move the beat to the left. You'll hear it pitch up. And then you can move it all the way down. You can hear it pitch all the way down. Then as you release it, let's spin it back up. Let's release. And you hear it slowly fades out, but it's also still pitching up because he slowly moved it up uh, with the beat selector there. Now, you don't have to use these beat selector buttons. Uh, if you like, you can use the X pad, which is handy. Um, or you can also use the time parameter there. Uh, it's an encoder, so it takes a while to scroll through all these milliseconds. You'll find that it won't always be in time with the playing track. If you use the beat selector here, then It'll always be somewhat in time with the track, assuming that you've hit the on off button on the downbeat. If you've got two CDJs plugged in and connected to a DJM 900, or if you're using the XDJ RX, you can just hit the quantize button here, and it'll actually detect the grid, and then it'll use that exact BPM to apply the effect. So let me show you the spiral in a full mix situation. Start with it at zero, turn it on, and let's let go of it. Now you can do that however you want, whenever you want. Uh, you can keep that level depth in there as long as you want, if you want a very long tail. If you turn it all the way to the right, you'll notice that the depth stays in for a very long time. When it's at max, it's gonna take forever to fade out but you can still control it. You still pitch it down, and right back up again.
So you can see how that would be really useful in a mixing scenario. Something else that you can do with the spiral effect, the second technique, uh, is create kind of a resonator. Now, this isn't quite like a normal resonator, uh, but it, it does about the same trick. And the best way that I know to use it is to take your finger, hit the X pad, and go all the way to the left till you see 10 milliseconds. Now, let me just uh, set that to uh, channel four here. And if I turn it on, you can instantly hear that it creates a resonator effect. Now, in order to use this effectively, you want to be able to change the time of the resonator. Uh, since we're at 10 milliseconds, we're already all the way up. Uh, so anything I do is going to pitch it down and create a kind of a spiral down effect. Let's hear that. And then I can go back up. And you actually can do that same technique that we were doing earlier and hit the beat pad uh, to come out of a resonator like that. Uh, it's pretty cool. A great way to really easily practice with the spiral effect, if you have a DJM 900 that is somewhere nearby that you can use, uh, is to use the noise effect. So let's apply some noise here on channel four. And we'll add the spiral effect again. Let's put it right at the middle. Perfect for that laser noise. Um, and of course you can pitch it down. So that about covers it for the spiral effect. Um, I hope that you've enjoyed this quick tip. Uh, if you have any questions on using the spiral effect, or you probably have some ways to use it of your own, uh, go ahead and leave a comment below this video here. Uh, to watch another uh, cool DJM uh, trick, specifically I think it deals with noise, uh, Ian has done a tutorial, you can watch that here. And to uh, stay in touch with tech tools and learn about more things that we're doing, subscribe to our channel, click over here. That's all for now, take care guys. Thank you.